Howdy, y'all! Today we're watching episode 23 of My Little Pony Season 9, the last filler episode of the show. The last filler episode of the show. I think the next three are going to be story-based only. I don't know what it's going to be about. Uh, I don't even know the title. So um, it's going to be a complete mystery, which I hope will have you guys pleased as well. I think it's going to be something big, though, because it's getting close to the end. What can it not be? You know, it's got to be something important. I'm eating bread. You know, I just wrapped up the previous episode like 10 minutes ago, and I'm... I'm currently eating breakfast while I'm sitting here, so don't you mind me. And a quick shout out to patrons. Thank you so much for the support, Lizzie Akerhurst, The Slorg, Toasty534, Clarity, uh, Noel Schoenhorst, The Fluffy Vixen, Scope, uh, Jellyworm, DJ B Ray, Narrator007, and Laquasis. And of course the other two that I still haven't made. Uh, my printer is still behaving badly, I haven't gotten it working yet, so James and Vanessa, you know who you are. You're gonna go up there eventually, but for now, it's uh, it's in the air. I think we're gonna just gonna jump straight into it because I'm pretty excited. I want to get to the end. Uh, at the same time, I don't, but I really, I really can't wait. And I think I'm gonna change lights for this too. Uh, what do you say we pick green? That, that works fine. Yeah. So uh, let's jump straight into it. Huh. Hello, I Spike. Just everything to be perfect. I mean, this was a big deal, but when Discord insists on being involved... Regardless of what Spike might say, Hi. Little Dragon begged me to help. And let me tell you, he can cause plenty of chaos all Sis on his purple <laughs> lonesome. I pride myself on baking under pressure, but I just... Oh, dear. You'd think we'd be used to stuff like this in... What is going on? I still have nightmares. It seems simple when it started. <laughs> It's beautiful. Yep. No. I'm not gonna eat it. Eat what? Oh, are you kidding me? What is it? I wanna see. No. Why not? Because you have a big mouth. Me? He's like gonna propose. Like Fluttershy's secret fear of clowns. Or that time I caught Twilight sleep trotting from town. Oh, and did you know that Octavia went on a date with bulk biceps? Really? Talk about an odd couple. I heard that. Uh -huh. Oh, all right. Point taken. But we're pals, right? Comrades. The Migos. <laughs> Come on! Oh, he's gonna propose to Sugar Bell! Big Mac is going to propose to Sugar Bell! Sugar Bell! Sugar Bell! Sugar Bell! Sugar Bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh! What a way to end it, huh? What a way to wrap up the filler episodes! So oh, I'm gonna cry! That's just too much, man. I literally cannot think of a better way to end it off. <laughs> what? Oh, I feel like I'm gonna like, cry. <laughs> oh. oh, this show is too much. <laughs> I have to eat bread to make myself feel better. Wow. Of course, Big Mac asked me to help with his proposal. I'm the most romantic dragon I know. Oh, it really is a curse having <laughs> infinite powers. Every the Big Mac question. Asking you to move a couch or help with a proposal. What's with the symbols in the background? I love it. Don't leave anything out. Oh, do we have to hear all the details? Is that like a friend thing? Yeah. <sighs> yep. <laughs> I don't talk. So uh, I want to show Sugar Bell how committed I am. First... <gasps> you're making a picnic table that matches the shelf you made Sugar Bell for her shop when you had a crush on her? And you're setting up a romantic meal overlooking Sweet Apple Acres? Yep. Uh, uh -huh. How did you figure that out? Because Spike is a good friend. Romantic, you'd know that was the only logical choice. <laughs> Man. Has Spike gotten bigger? He looks so big compared to Discord now. Oh, never mind. To around Ponyville with little riddles tied to the stem that will lead her up here to meet you? Yep. <laughs> Seriously? 
now. Yeah. Oh, I know. You need a giant rhino named Dolores <laughs> who can knit a romantic sweater for two. Uh, nope. But that would be nice. Come on. He needs food for the picnic. That was a gimme. <laughs> nice way of using his hand to gesture. <laughs> okay. You finish your table, I'll pick up whatever you need to eat, and Discord will put all the apples in place. I will? No. Mm -hmm. Discord, if you want to be the right hand man, you gotta. Do we call it? The guy who gives you the ring in the wedding? I don't know what it's called in Norwegian, but. From the sugar cube corner, look for your next clue. Red, delicious, sweet like you. Find it, you'll know what to do. Oh. <laughs> He should stick to bucking apples. <laughs> Sugar Bell's gonna love I'm sure it. he will, but oh, I just love Discord and these guys' relationship now. Food. How long will it take you to place all the apples? <laughs> Are you sure you put them in the right spots? Those terrible riddles on the apples were very clear on the location. I'm sure that they were placed properly. Okay. I, I, I think maybe. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's important, okay? okay fine. He's I'll getting married. Check. What? She didn't see the apple. What are we gonna do? Well, we could just give it to her. That's not romantic. She needs to discover it. Don't uh. be such a drama dragon. I've precipitated <laughs> liquid cocoa on Equestria and herded long-limbed Laporidae. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I can certainly make a pony see an apple. <laughs> okay. So what's Mrs. Mrs. Cake got to do with this? Just. No, I'm afraid you'll have to wait. I'm a bit busy at the moment. Oh, is this sour cream or sweet cream? Oh, well, we will never know. Maybe I could take some of these off your hooves. No, those are for something important too. Okay. There's one, two, three, four, twenty-one, and yes, all of twenty-one. Who needs twenty-one desserts? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Come by later. Okay. Later won't work. Why not? I can't tell you. It's a secret. Not the vanilla and Ugh! Did some pony else make these? No. Why? No reason. Are you sure you're Mrs. Cake? Oh. <laughs> Even Discord can't. He's gonna get so you know, triggered. <laughs> too busy to read the horribly written clues. Maybe you should just tell her. Oh, that's freaky. Yeah, that's not gonna go well. Hey, so you have a job to do. Take a look at your stem. Well, tell me about it. But regardless, <laughs> go to your designated location, deliver your messages, and make me proud. Dismissed. Dismissed. <laughs> I just have to say, Matt is really lucky to have me as a friend. What is she doing? Okay. One down, twenty to go. Then I can help you. Maybe I can help you. Delivering parchments is my thing. A little dragon breath and whoosh. We deliver each scroll into each dessert. Then you can help me. Watch. <sighs> Ta-da! Well. <laughs> the fuck? Hello, Pear. I guess they didn't get William Shatner back. Oh, are you finally finished? I've been done for a while. Well. Does this look you like know, finished? Thinking back, I probably could have been clearer which pony to deliver the messages to. Mm -hmm. Think. 
I sent them back to Sweet Apple Acres. Apples are terrible at taking directions. Couldn't even manage to stay in one location. Now bananas, whoa, are much better at listening. Yeah, because they're telephones. Apples running everywhere and she didn't see the poem to get to the hilltop? Getting her to the hilltop is easy. And not seeing the poems is actually a blessing when you think about it. What do you mean? Um. <laughs> Why would you think sending <laughs> flaming messages at divine desserts would work? No room at all of them! To be honest, I tasted some and burning them might have been an improvement. What? I never! Spike? <laughs> oh, uh, hey there, Big Mac. I bet you're wondering what... Sugar Bell! Big Mac? <laughs> Discord? Mrs. Cake? What did I do? <laughs> Nothing. I thought we were just saying each other's names. Yeah. I guess this can't get any worse. As the Lord of Chaos, I'd advise against saying things like that. <laughs> What's going on now? Big Apple? Oh my god, what the hell? What did you do, Discord? What have you created? Created. I have a bit of a reputation for getting carried away, especially when romance is involved. Oh, <laughs> this was your doing. Case with this. We were just helping Sugar Bell with her plan. <laughs> you know, every time you try to help, <laughs> it turns one, out to not go say, well. Yeah. <laughs> so you're what do you saying mean? you want to put each one of those? Inside a dessert. Well, since Big Mac's plan to send me a hearts and hooves day pie with the message inside didn't go so well, I thought. Oh, I remember to do that. Right. Aww, that's so romantic. He's a pony of few words. I love that about him. So I thought <laughs> I'd use as many words as possible to propose to him. All he has to say really? is. Really? You too? Yup. Yup. <laughs> I can't wait for you to be a part of the family. Oh, I can't either. <laughs> I'm, glad you could help with this. I'm getting teary-eyed just thinking about it. I love you, Big Mac. Would you like to spend the rest of our lives together? I hope you say e up. And <laughs> 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 That's one, two, three, four, five. The way she said that. <laughs> twenty-one, I know. Actually, it's twenty-two. Mrs. Cake was kind enough to help me bake all the apple-flavored treats I made to get Big Mac to visit me in my old shop. But that one has the invitation for him to come. So why are they bad? Oh, it's, it's no bother. I do love a challenge. Did I add the sugar to this one or to that one? You seem like you should have control of what you're doing. Six times so uh, that's probably enough sugar. Go deliver that pie. I have to get some flowers to spruce the place out. Uh-oh, Spike and Discord are outside. If they figure out what we're up to, they'll spill the beans. And I want this to be a surprise. I don't think they suspect anything. Why would they suspect that we're holding All right. a pie this was, and that uh, is baking a, a flashback. I can't believe perspective. I Everyone's screaming today. This is our shot to make up for all the trouble we caused when Big Mac first asked Sugar Bell out. We poor can't pony. Give away the surprise. You need to play it cool. Rat, rat. Uh, how's this? Better? Awesome. Come on, let's go find your brother. Screwdriver. Sugar oh. Bell. <laughs> you should just make another song to her. Shelf Big Mac made for Sugar Bell. Weird. Maybe we should wait here for him. He's bound to show up soon. You know, when I'm looking for something, Granny says it's best to check the least likely place. Come on! Okay. Well, he's there now. Screwdriver! <laughs> That's what I say whenever I find tools I need. Milk! No, she's not one of there. <laughs> After what happened in season two. Big Mac! <laughs> Big Mac! 
least likely place. Okay. <laughs> How is Sugar Bell supposed to propose to Big Mac if we can't even find him? Mrs. Cake isn't finished yet. We still have time. You know, when I'm looking for some pony, Granny says it's best to just stay in one place. Let's head back to the farm and wait. Big Mac is sure to show up soon. Yeah, if you said one more second, well, you would have seen him. Stand there. Come on! Love is in the air. Oh, mutated apple boy. Okay, I get it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Granny! Who goes there? Poor Granny. Granny. Have you seen Big Mac? Oh, hey there, little dumpling. I just had the most peculiar dream. That's nice, Granny, but okay. we really need to find Big Mac, so... It was about Grand Pear. What it was it? And we were in outer space on some kind of mission to explore a strange new world. Okay. If we stuck listening to Granny, we'll never find Big Mac. That's actually a quite interesting and dream. Good Briar was there, being as logical as ever, but his ears was all horny like, and then Discord showed up, and well, you know, he's pretty much the same. Once she gets going, there's nothing <laughs> in Equestria that can stop her. And there it is. You sure about that? Love is in the air. Uh, hey there, Big Mac. I bet you're wondering what Sugar Bell. Big Mac? Discord? Mrs. Cake? What did I do? <laughs> Nothing. I thought we were just saying each other's names. I guess this can't get any worse. As the Lord of Chaos, I'd advise against saying things like that. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> That's freaky. Discord? Why does every pony immediately assume that this has something to do with me? I love you. You love me. I love to grow like an apple tree. So let me what? Will you marry me? Okay, but to be fair, the message did get the sugar bell. Oh, I feel so bad for him. This whole story was a long walk for to make it seem like it was all my fault, which it wasn't. Wait, so you two were mm. orchestrating a proposal? That's what I was doing. Who are you proposing to? Discord. Me. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodbye. So the messages that were in the desserts were Sugar Bell's proposal to Big Mac before Spike set them on fire. Oh, so I'm not the only one who messes things up, am I, <laughs> Mr. High and Mighty Dragon? Hey, those desserts were ruined way before I ruined them. <laughs> you are not. Well, I may have mixed up a, a few ingredients. How? You're, rush. You're the baker, you the local very baker. Very disappointed in yourselves. What about you and your apple monster? Meanwhile, yeah, Big Mac and Sugar Bell is just of me. listening into this. All we wanted to do was make up for messing things up the last time. Sugar Bell, Big Mac, we're really... Where'd they go? Okay, this time it they really got a room. wasn't me. <laughs> I shouldn't have taken all those desserts at once. It's just how can you say no to such a sweet idea? Oh, oh sweet! Joke. In retrospect, <laughs> Dragon Flame and Baked Goods aren't the best combo. We felt like it was all our fault. Who are you talking to? That was Discord. And Mrs. Cake messing up those recipes, and Spike burning the messed up recipes, and... The point is, we all felt bad for ruining Big Mac and Sugar Bell's proposals. Mm -hmm. It was all green, and then Grandpa looked at me all dramatical and said... <laughs> Where no pony has gone before. And whoosh! Away we flew! Is this a reference to Star Trek or something? Because it's Today William Shatner. Interesting. Yep. Your 
okay. Uh. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Sugar Bell. I wanted everything to go right today. I wanted our love to be as perfect as my parents was. I planted these two trees together. Instead, it turned into a mess. Just like when I asked you out, just like Hearts and Hooves Day. No matter how hard I try, I always seem to mess but up. I think that's why she likes you, though, because it's funny. I think you've got things backwards. What do you mean? From everything you told me about your parents, they had to deal with things a lot tougher than some burnt desserts and an apple monster. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess that's, that's true. true. This apple tree and pear tree are stronger together. They'll survive whatever comes because they don't have to do it alone. They belong together. Like your parents and like us. Oh. <laughs> today was a disaster. But today was also the last day we're ever going to have to do anything apart. From here on out, we'll be together. And we'll make sure everything always works out just right. Sugar Bell, you... No, sorry. I'm sorry. All parents are proud. Sure. One, two, will you, you marry, marry me? me? Yep. <laughs> Aww. We'll have to thank our friends for messing up so bad that they made it all work out perfectly. Yes. Well, we've all made up and we're here for a do-over. And this time, thanks to me, we've got it right. So why don't you two, you know... <laughs> uh, I think they did okay without us. Yeah. And that's how we were responsible for the perfect proposal. <laughs> okay. You know what? Take all the take all the credit. Why don't you? It wouldn't have worked out the way it did. It's just like baking. Sometimes it's the mistakes that help you discover something truly special. And when all the planning and grand gestures go wrong, it reminds you the most romantic things are usually the simplest. Which is what I knew all along. You're welcome. <laughs> oh! Oh, it's happening now! Oh my good- I'm oh, at the tree! Oh my god, my heart is melting! Everybody's there! It is my sincere pleasure to say, for my second Apple family wedding, that I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh, everyone was there. That's your cue. Happy marriage, happy happy marriage. Discord. Oh, just let me have this one. Happy marriage, happy apples, happy marriage, happy apples. Uh My god! <laughs> I teared up at the end. <laughs> oh, this is the perfect way to end the thriller episodes, really. My god. Um Oh. I'm about to tear up again. <laughs> Oh, that is the end of the fillers. And like I said, I really couldn't think of any better way to end it off. Really wrap things up for for a big storyline. Like, oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm so super happy. I'm going to go take a little break before I react to the finale. But um, I will see you guys next time. I really hope you enjoyed this one. So uh, take care, guys.